Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin, I'm a geek, you're watching Kevin the Geek and welcome back to my latest reaction to Rising Damp. This is the third episode of the first series and this one is apparently called Charisma. No, no waffling for me this morning, let's check it out. Come to fix your drip, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. I don't know what I'd do without you. Uh, that's all right, Monsieur. That's what I'm here for. Any little thing, as you know. Little I'm thing? I'm not very practical. Well, you're more the artistic type, aren't you, Monsieur? And you like beautiful things. <laughs> we look at your cups. Willow pattern. Lovely thing. <laughs> yes, we separate you from the rest, Monsieur. Oh. And your table mats. Yes. Scenes from the ballet. And how many people around here have <laughs> got scenes from the ballet? <laughs> yes, you're lucky if you get a beer mat. Well, you've got that indefinable something called good taste, Monsieur. Do you think so, Mr. Edward? Oh, yes, you make a difference to this place. Uh, shades on the bulbs, blue water in the toilet. <laughs> you really raised the standard. Well, I hope so. I mean, I hope the others don't think I'm too fussy. I want them to accept me. Well, they'll accept you, all right. That's what worries me. <laughs> yes, well, there. That's fixed, Monsieur. Right. Oh. Anything else while I'm here? Well, yes, Mr. Rigsby. Oh. I wonder if you'd have a look at my doorknob. Oh. <laughs> Again? Well, I didn't look at it only last week. What's, what's the matter with it now? Well, people seem to be walking off with it. Oh. Walking well, off with it? Want to look at that? No, it's been vandalised. <laughs> yeah, what you can expect with that lot upstairs? Uh, just a few twists with my little... Uh, there we are. Let's fix that. Good. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Rigsby. Oh. I think he knows how he wants to be thanked. Uh, uh, Spooner gave me a couple of tickets for the wrestling for tomorrow night. I wonder if you care to come. Me? Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, it's all right. It's not too near the front. I mean, you don't want a 15 stone wrestler in your lap, do you? No. <laughs> wow. Well. Oh, yes, yes, you can, yes. And Spooner has got this nasty habit of spitting his drinking water over the car. Oh. The one in the heat of battle, of course. Well, it's very nice of you to ask me, Mr. Rigsby, but I really don't. Oh, oh you'll enjoy it, Miss Jones. It's a grudge fight. Spooner versus the Russian. Yeah, he's ended with a broken leg last time. Oh, how awful. Yeah. Mr. Spooner or the Russian? Uh, no, no, no. Somebody in the third row. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, uh, you see, the, uh, the, the, the Russian... Uh, oh, sorry, the, uh, the Russian comes on in ballet tights, you see, and pelts Spooner with flowers. Yeah. And this infuriates Spooner. He belts the Russian with his stool. Oh, but surely the referee wouldn't allow that. No, oh, no, this is before the shake hands. <laughs> <laughs> of course, everyone starts booing Spooner while the, while the Russian gives blowing him kisses. Poor oh, Mr. Spooner. No, 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 you don't understand. They're supposed to boo him. He's the villain. Doesn't he have any supporters? Uh, not many. No, you see, they're the ones he spits at. <laughs> well, uh, what, what do you say, Mr. Jones? We could uh, have a spot of supper afterwards. <laughs> well, I've just remembered, Mr. Rigsby. I'm afraid I've got to work late tomorrow night. Oh. I hope you don't mind. Oh, of course not, Oh, he does mind. I quite understand. It was very nice of you to ask me. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. It was just, just a thought. <laughs> I mean, I can always get rid of the tickets. No, no bother there. After all, it's all fixed, isn't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> that, was, that was good fixing. What do you think? What about? The earring. Oh? Uh, yeah. It's not very big, is it? Well, it doesn't need to be. Catch it in anything, it'll tear your ear off. <laughs> Do you like it? Yes. Has Rigsby seen it? Uh, no, I, I, uh, I keep covering it up with my hand. <laughs> well, you know what he's like. He thinks a signet ring's flashy. <laughs> uh, do you want coffee? Yeah, I need something. What's the matter? Oh, I've just said goodnight to the most beautiful girl I've ever met. I left her with tears in her eyes. What happened? Nothing. That's the trouble. <laughs> Bring it back here. But how could I with Rigsby prowling around? Couldn't you, uh, couldn't you go back to her place? No, she's in college. It's driving me mad. I've got a big scene going there. Again? What do you mean, again? This is different. I'd go through fire and flood for this girl. What about the park? And get covered in moss and dead leaves. <laughs> yeah, not very good. you like the park. Just you and her under the stars. Just like the jungle. Would you stop talking about me as if I were the last of the Mohicans? <laughs> <laughs> as far as I'm the park strictly for the ducks. Now, what's the matter with Rigsby, anyway? Well, Ruth keeps turning him down. It's making him bitter. I was down there at the moment asking her to go to the wrestling with him. She won't go, of course. She thinks the main bout will be her versus Rigsby. I'm <laughs> <laughs> straight out. I'm bringing a girl back here. No, you do that and you find your cases in the hall. 
Besides, Ruth would have the vapours if you brought a girl back here. <laughs> Tell you what, what we ought to do is to get them two together. And how do we do that? We give Rigsby some advice. <laughs> 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 what sort of advice could you give him? How to make it with Ruth. But you've never made it with anyone. I mean, he's made it with Ruth. I've never seen you with a girl. Well, what about that girl who keeps following me? <laughs> what girl? The one on the racing bike. Oh, you can't count her. <laughs> She'll never dismount. Ah, she will, though. She will. You wait and see. Besides, just because you've never seen me with a girl, don't mean to say I've never had one. As a matter of fact, I'm getting over rather a big scene at the moment. Oh, mm. I didn't know. I don't like to talk about it much. It's pretty steamy while it lasted. <laughs> well, go on. They say I was the reason she failed her O-levels. <laughs> and Ruth was still at school. And you're going to advise Ridgeby. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> you think you need something? Like a body transplant. <laughs> hey, do you want some, do you want some coffee, Ridgeby? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my guts are in a turmoil today. Oh. Take anything for it? Deep breathing. I find that's the only thing that helps. Deep breathing every morning. You want to see a doctor? No, nah, no, nah, you start worrying about your health. You've had it. <laughs> uh, you had a blood out there downstairs. Thought his shoulder blades were deformed. <laughs> uh, kept asking me to look at them. He spent hours trying to see them in the mirror. Uh, by the time he'd finished, they were deformed. <laughs> oh, that's better. Uh, uh, Rigsby, there's something I wanted to ask you. Oh, my God, what's that? What? There, there, on your ear, quick, something <laughs> glinting. What is it? <laughs> it's an earring. I need... Oh. <laughs> in the world, I want to get off. <laughs> What's wrong with it? He looks like the gypsies warning. him. But everybody's wearing them these days, Ruth. Really. God help England, that's all I can say. Oh, let's hope the Russians don't find out. I can just see us all marching into battle in bloody earrings. That'll really send us through the... What's he got to do with it? Philip thinks it's all right. Oh, he would. He thinks a bone through the nose is all right. <laughs> Ridgeby, I wanted to ask you... Here, why... here's some... Tickets for the wrestling. Ask me what. It doesn't matter. She turned you down then, Rigsby. Mind your own business. <laughs> I, I, I can't understand it. I've tried everything with that woman. <laughs> you want some advice, Rigsby? From you? Who do you think you are? Bachelor of the Month? <laughs> I need your advice, mate. Hey, Rigsby, you ought to get with it. You ought to change your image. Perhaps I should borrow your earring. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you mean medallions, don't you? Shirt open, drinking Campari while some bird in the night is helping you off with your boots. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> well, the life's not like that. No, she's too busy with good causes to worry about me. That's the trouble. Yeah, she, you know, too, too busy worrying about his mates in Africa to worry about me. That's the trouble, you see. I'm not a good cause. Oh, I don't know. What about help the aged? Ooh! <laughs> you know what you need? Well, charisma. I'm not spraying myself with that stuff, mate. No, oh, charisma. It means personal charm. Oh, yeah. I'm not noticing much charisma around here. Look, Ruth doesn't want to go to the wrestling, does she? Huh? Do you know what she'd really like? What? A nice, quiet evening at home listening to Matt Munro. Who? Matt Munro. But I've got one of his records here. Hey, why don't you take it down, give it a quick twirl, Get her in a nice romantic mood and give her a gentle squeeze. Matt Munro. Never fails. Oh, I don't know. She's a very sensitive woman. My stomach being what it is, it rolls whenever I get near her. Must put her off. <laughs> hey, I've got just a thing. Well, here you are. Take a couple of these. What? They'll uh, calm you down and tone you up at the same hey, time. Hey, you haven't got any hormones in him, have you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's that bloke down the road, the one who got the cheap turkey at Christmas, that was full of hormones. <laughs> <laughs> Three days later, his wife had a deeper voice than he got. <laughs> I'm sure you're No? All right, I suppose they won't do any harm. Hey, on, take the bottle just in case. Oh, God. He's going to overdose, isn't he? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, open the shirt a bit more. Matt Monroe. Matt Monroe. This is going to go well. What were those tablets? Oh, mild tranquilizers. Perfectly harmless. They'll, uh, Slow him down, relax him. You know, the trouble is, he's put Ruth on a pedestal. Oh. As long as he don't put him on a pedestal. But it depends on how many he has, he might knock him out. This is going to go well. How did you get hold of them? Uh, they were taken off the market. I thought you said they were harmless. Oh, they are, they are. It's just that they've got this sort of uh, mild side effect. Sort of Which side effect. Which is? They turn your water green. <laughs> your water, as in your pee. 
going to think he's an alien if she doesn't already. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, my God, how does he act? Is he in the old pole? I just wondered if you'd be uh, to hear this, uh, this record. <laughs> Matt Munro's latest. Matt Munro, yes, yeah. I like him. He does things to me. Oh, good, good. I'll, does I'll, he? I'll, I'll, I'll slip it on him. <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh. He's a fast actor in sedatives. Uh, uh, I said, well, where's, where's the handle, though? <laughs> <laughs> Electricity, Mr. Oh, yes, got it. Um, well, just sit down, Miss Jones, let it, it flow over you. I didn't know you liked listening to records, Mr. Rickson. Oh, yes, yes, I, I, I find it helps me to unwind, Miss Jones. You, um, you find it helps to unwind? <laughs> yes, yes, I suppose it does. Yeah, 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 perhaps we can, uh, perhaps we can, uh... Oh, my word! <laughs> He's really unbuttoning it. You look, you look very bewitching tonight, Mr. Yeah? Oh, Mr. Rigsby. <laughs> no, I am. Remember noticing before, you're a very, uh, very exciting woman, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Rigsby, the record? Hmm? Uh, oh, yes, I remember that time when you were sunbathing in the garden, uh, you know, just before the red ants got at you. I remember, uh, I remember thinking then, there's, a, there's an exciting woman, I thought. Yes, uh, I noticed you were leaning on your spade a great deal. Yeah, yeah. well, I couldn't take my eyes off you, I mean. We'd never had a... A bikini in the garden before, <laughs> and I have to keep the boys off the fence. You know. Yes, yes, I do. I don't understand. think this is Matt Monroe. Mr. Rigsby, hmm? the record. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, no doubt about it, he's got a beautiful voice. <laughs> Mr. Rigsby, it's on the wrong speed. Oh, oh that's what it is. <laughs> I hope we're not going to have that sort of male chauvinism. Whatever you may think, I am not a sex object. Hmm. Nor do I abandon myself to the strains of Matt Munro. I don't know who gave you that impression. Mr. Rigsby. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> Have you seen Rigsby? Yes. Was he awake? Oh, yes. Good. But he can't be Miss T. <laughs> can't feel his teeth. <laughs> He's been to the doctor. He's on his way up now. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Oh! Where is he? <laughs> What's the matter, Rigsby? What's the matter? You say that after nearly poisoning me. You're exaggerating. I was drugged to the eyeballs. I slept for 24 hours. I still can't feel my teeth. <laughs> and you know what else? Do you know what I found when I went to the bathroom? My water's turned green. <laughs> right green. I went to the doctor with those tablets. He told me they're for women in early pregnancy. <laughs> Do I look as if I'm in early pregnancy? Love it. I'd sue you if you got any money. <laughs> of course, you finish me with Miss Jones. You realise that, don't you? She thinks I'm stark, raving, mad, and I don't blame her. And she didn't before? Come on, I'd have to listen to you. But I was only trying to be helpful. Help? What do you know about the opposite sex? If a woman so much as looked at you'd have a nosebleed. <laughs> Only thing you ever taken to bed with is your Mickey Mouse old water bottle. Ooh. As a matter of fact, Rigsby, I'm seeing a woman tonight. L listen, listen, listen. I think he lives in a dream world. I don't think these women exist. You know, sometimes I don't think you exist. I think you come out the bloody wallpaper. <laughs> well, I am seeing a woman tonight. Hey, you believe me, don't you, Philip? <laughs> <laughs> well, I am anyway. <laughs> Never mind, Rigsby. There'll be another time. Oh, I don't know. I'm not so sure. It's all right for you. You're not out in Africa. It's different out there. You, you lead a more natural life out there. You're closer to nature. I haven't been close to nature since last Christmas. <laughs> Wasn't all that close then. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't seem to get any chances these days. Why not? I don't know. There was this woman at the pub. They all said, ooh, whatever you do, don't give her a lift home. She'll interfere with you. <laughs> She was uh, supposed to interfere with you while you were driving, you know. So I gave her a lift on. <laughs> what happened? Nothing. She was a washout. <laughs> Just talked about her feet. Great <laughs> sideboards, Rigsby. Yes, I don't think I've got the strength. <laughs> 
Well, what, what would you do if you were in my position? How do you mean? Come on, what would you do in your country? Uh, we're a primitive people, Rigsby. I don't think we could teach you well, anything. I'm desperate. Time's running out of time. <laughs> in my country, if a man was in your position, he'd get the wood of the love tree. He would burn it outside the girl's hut, and when she smelt the smoke, she would appear at the door. He'd look deep into her eyes, and she would fall in love with him. Just like that? Just yeah. like that. He'd better not set a fire outside the door. I've got to this wood, huh? Would you like to? Not say to believe it, of course. Well, Anything's worth a try, though, isn't it? I'll, I'll do you a favour sometime, Philip. <laughs> well, that may be sooner than you think, Rigsby. Really. Uh, oh, um, uh, uh, Philip, you, you remember all that stuff we were talking about the other day? You uh, haven't got any really bit knocking about, have you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, good, good. <sighs> <laughs> this is going to go well. This has been claimed. <laughs> Everything's commercial these days, Rigsby. <laughs> 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 what was all that about? I've given Rigsby some love wood. He's going to burn it outside Ruth's hut. <laughs> Will it work? I shouldn't think so. It came off the wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, Maureen. Oh, he has got to go. You mean you live up here? Where'd you keep your oxygen? <laughs> <laughs> you get used to it. Here, now, come and sit down. Aren't you forgetting something? In here? <laughs> You could have left it downstairs, you know. We're perfectly respectable. Oh, that's not what I've heard. <laughs> Who's your friend? I told you, I'm a doctor. Who was he? One of your patients? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, it's the bike lady. Why don't you... Uh, why don't you sit down? Hey, what about a drink? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have? Nothing, thanks. Rather have a drink for me canisters. <laughs> you know, you look very young for a doctor. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people have said that. <laughs> I've been taken for a student. <laughs> yeah, sometimes in the operating theatre I can hear them say, uh, Good God, you're not going to let that boy cut me open, are you? <laughs> Why are you whispering? Uh, no, I, I'm not whispering. It's, it's, it's just that I've got a low voice. You frightened of the landlord? Hmm. Rigsby? No, 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 no. He, he knows his place. <laughs> no, he... Uh, you have to humour him, like. He... Uh, a bit simple. <laughs> Get about war. You bang a paper bag in front of Rigsby and he'd be straight over this chair. <laughs> Do you want a sweet? They don't look like sweets. They look like the things my sister had. Turned a water green. Oh! How about a record? Oh, yeah. Do you like Matt Munro? Yes. Good. <laughs> Let it flow over you. <laughs> flow over me? I can hardly hear it. No. <laughs> oh, well, we don't want to wake uh, everybody up, do we? <laughs> oh. What's that in your ear? <laughs> you mean she's only just know it? It's, 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 it's an earring. They're very fashionable these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Our Coleman's got one. His went septic. <laughs> oh. Hey, can you smell burning? Oh, oh he's doing it. You, uh, just relax and enjoy the music. Hey, what's your game? What do you mean? Listen, Doctor, when I want you to examine me, I'll let you know. No, 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 no. I wasn't examining you. What were you doing then? Trying to guess me weight? <laughs> hey, uh, why, why, uh, 
Why do you, why do you ride that bike all the time? No, oh, it's me daddy doesn't like me going with boys. So he follows me. It's the only way I can outdistance him. <laughs> he says the first boy who touches me is going to wring his neck. Nice. <laughs> what was that? What? Well, it sounded like someone coming upstairs. Quick, under the bed. You what? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, the landlord, he gets to the bed. I don't know if it's no no. I've been smelling it all evening. It's very strong on the stairs. Are you sure it's not coming from in here? Uh, perhaps it's coming from uh, Spooner's room. Well, you better go and have a look. Well, no, I was, I was we don't want to go up in flames, do we? <laughs> well, hurry up. <coughs> go on. You didn't bring her bay just to ring her bell, mate. You've been having an orgy, haven't you? Hey? That's what you've been... The only thing I can't make out is what the bike's for. <laughs> I think we'd better go, Maureen. Oh, I wouldn't let him talk to you like that if I were you, even if he is simple. No. Simple? <laughs> <laughs> you think I am? But if he's a doctor, you must be his body snatcher. <laughs> oh. Body snatcher? Listen, I'm the man with all this... Get it out of me before I bend that bike round her neck. Don't worry, I'm going. You can keep old golden earring. Won't be seen dead with him. Oh! <laughs> God damn it, Rigsy! Uh, that's charisma, is it? <laughs> Can't win them all. Oh, you don't win any of them. I win more than you. Oh, no, you don't. I, I, I'd have been all right tonight. I, I, I could feel it in my water. You'd have been for this. <laughs> oh, uh, Rigsy, about that fever. Oh, yes? Yes, uh, I have a girl outside. Have you? Yes. Oh, She's very cold out there, Rigsy. She must be. It's bitter, isn't it? Yes. yes, uh, yes. I wondered if I could possibly, you know, bring her up here, you know. Did you? Yes. yes. Well, let me put your mind at rest. You cannot bring her up here. She can stay out there and bloody well freeze. That's what she can do. You <laughs> As if Miss Jones had fallen for that, a woman of her refinement. All he did was make her eyes water. <laughs> Is it any wonder? Look at that. Hey, smell that. Fuck. God, what a stink. You can tell that comes from Africa, all right? It doesn't come from Africa, reach me. Uh, what? It came off the wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good episode. Really, really, really good episode. Oh, there. Oh, really achy jaws. Oh, oh, oh. You know, you know it's good when you've got an achy jaw because you're laughing so much. That was good. Um, I like the fact that we sort of steered away a little bit um, from the... Um, you know the, the racial connotations uh, in this episode like we, we've had it you know in the first two episodes this one we've just sort of 
you know, apart from the, you know, the thing about the the, the, the love wood or whatever it is, you know, um, that's really the only time we've kind of gone on that. And I, I think the show worked better for that. You know, of course, you know, I've said it in the previous two episodes. I'm not, you know, slandering the show. Yeah, you because know, obviously it is of its time. There's no getting around that. Um, so, yeah, it, it, with... I think just without that, you know, obviously from a modern viewing point and you know, modernise, it just made it flow that little bit better, I, I think, for, for, for me personally. I was just able to enjoy it uh, a lot more in, in this particular episode. But yeah, I enjoyed it. It was, it was fun. It was, it was a fun, fun episode. It was, it was really, really good. Um, let me know your thoughts. You know, do you want me to continue? Do you want me to do do more of this one? You know, I, I did I did enjoy it. Um, so, of course, as always, you, know, you can see my, my videos early by checking out my Patreon. You can obviously subscribe if you're new. And, of course, drop your comments below. But that's going to do it for today and today's reaction to Rising Damp Series 1, Episode 3. For now, my name's Kevin. I am a geek. And you've been watching Kevin the Geek. Goodbye.